anything about Star Wars? It's a very popular American folk tale. It's starting to get a little momentum. You guys watch Clone Wars? You guys watch Clone Wars on Cartoon Network? This girl's drifting off. That's how much she watches Clone Wars. I've never seen that before. Gotta go all the way to Indiana to see a girl do that. What was that noise? That was the lady of the forest. I have a little bit of feedback up on the stage here. I've been watching Clone Wars. I fucking love Clone Wars. I know if you guys have problems with Star Wars these days, it's difficult to be an adult and be a Star Wars fan, but I love that shit. I'm always a kid when it comes to Star Wars. I love watching spaceships take off and land. I think that shit's amazing. I'm like, planet two from Earth. I don't need to know anything about it. I'm so... That little, that little sentence at the beginning of the episode, I'm like, I bet that's going to play in the episode. <laughs> My question is this, if you have a kid, what do you say to him? The kid comes up to you, he's all stoked, he's like, Daddy, I love Clone Wars, it's the best show in the world. And you get Skywalker, and Obi-Wan Kenobi are the best friends, they go on adventures, all the way up to me, they fight the Empire, and they're always going to be buddies, right? They're never going to turn on each other, they're never going to betray each other, right, Dad? <laughs> Dad, I love the Clone Troopers, they're the best thing in the world. They look the same, but they're not the same, Dad. They have different haircuts, different nicknames, they paint the sides of the ships all crazy, they different guys, Dad, and they're always really loyal. And there's Captain Cody, and Captain Cody and Obi-Wan Kenobi are like brothers, Dad. They would never betray each other, would they, Dad? Because they're the most loyal people in the whole wide world. The Clone Troopers are very dependable, aren't they, Dad? Why <laughs> have you come to see the movie, Dad? You're like, you're like Okay, you know how Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker are best friends? Well, Obi-Wan Kenobi cuts off three of Anakin's limbs and he becomes a robot man. He goes on to kill every Jedi in the universe and he starts with the children. <laughs> Troopers, you think those guys are your buddies? They're not your buddies, Jimmy. They'll kill you with the drop of a hat. You think they're loyal? They're not. They're just like robots. They just need one word from the little hologram on their palm, and they're like, right away, sir. And they'll fucking kill you right there. They'll kill me. They'll kill mom. They'll kill the dog. They'll kill you, Jimmy. It's like telling your kid, you know Ernie and Bert, you know how they get along? Well, Bert cut off three of Ernie's limbs on a lava planet, and now Ernie's a robot muppet and has to go kill all the muppets. It's like saying, Charlie Brown and Linus, you know how they're always hanging out at that brick wall talking about holidays? Well, Linus cut off Charlie Brown's head, and now Charlie Brown's a robot. Charlie Brown needs to go kill all the peanuts. It's like saying, aliens and predator were in Cub Scouts together, and they're lying on their sofa and they're staring up at the sky and identifying different constellations. The predator says to the alien, you know, alien, this is the best of our lives. I hope we never fight. I hope we never try to kill each other in space. It's like Freddy and Jason are working at Spencer's gifts and they're hanging hill the wall. And Freddy says to Jason, you know, Jason, this has been the best of our lives. We both got we both got laid. Okay, fine. You got laid. I came really close. We both got our subway cards punched all the way around the whole card. It was a summer to remember. The other day I was thinking in the car, I was like, Bert and Ernie never got along. Thank you very much.